morning. Luna's trying to get to the food. Ian's made us breakfast, so he's like loading up the table and we're gonna eat. I'm very excited. Mmm, hash browns, eggies, bacon, sausage, croissants. Ian's on his way over with his right now. Luna is being good and not begging, even though she just was. Let's eat. I need everyone to see this dog right now. She's chewing on the red one and she has her paw on the black bone. She just always has to have a million toys around her at once. So Ian has left for work, so it's just a loony and I. There is a tropical depression that hit last night and we're left today with like the remnants of like the wind and stuff. It's actually beautiful. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish getting ready and then Luna and I are gonna go for a walk. What do you think, baby? You wanna go for a walk in a little bit? You think that would be really nice? Yeah? Let's go for a walk in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, pretty. So honestly, I don't know how well you can see me, but I figured while I'm doing my hair, I would talk to you guys about what happened um, yesterday and on Friday, because I know I ended Friday's vlog with explaining that I had like a mental seizure type thing. Oh, also look, I did more green in my hair, just tonight. I just did that today, so I'm excited to see how it looks after I straighten my hair. But anyway, so to kind of explain, a couple months ago, I was really, really stressed out. Um, and when I get really stressed out, I get these things called, gosh, I can't remember the name. It's like cy cyber something. Okay, I don't know the word, but if you look up mental seizure, it pretty much explains what it is. Um, I had another one this morning when I woke up. Um, like in bed, waking up, and it happened, and it sucks, and I had one on Friday night too. So the last time that I had these occur were a couple months ago when I was like really stressed out and depressed, and obviously with my current situation of like not having a job per se, like an actual like Monday through Friday day job, um, I think that's kind of what's sparking these to happen again. I had one on Friday night, um, and that one was really crazy because I was in the shower, um, that's the scary thing about them. They can happen anywhere, like while you're driving, while you're just sitting, while you're sleeping and you can wake up, like this morning. Um, Friday nights happened in the shower. Um, this morning it happened right after I woke up and essentially what happens is you're just, like I, I know it's about to happen because I'll suddenly get like a crazy, crazy feeling of deja vu. Um, even if I know that it's not something that I've ever experienced, I'm just overcome with like a sense of deja vu and then I know it's about to happen. Like it's it's weird. It's like you it, it's like you know that it's happening before it's happened. It's like so bizarre. So um with Fridays it happened and it lasted for about a minute in the shower. And then this morning's it, it happened and it lasted I think a little bit less. I was actually able to get up out of bed and walk to the bathroom because I thought I was gonna throw up, but Essentially what happens is you start with a feeling of overwhelming deja vu and then you know that you're about to have this like seizure -y type thing. It's not really a seizure. It's, it's different from like an epileptic seizure because with epilepsy you're like actually your body is going into seizure but in this case it's just like a mental seizure. So from the deja vu comes this like overwhelming feeling of dread um, and like anxiety and you also start to feel like you're extremely nauseous. Like I felt like I had to throw up. So I just remember like not being able to speak this morning specifically. And I put the blanket over my face and I was just like, mm, cause I was trying to make it go away. Cause like I suddenly felt like I was going to throw up. And I also felt like, so like, I felt like I was having like a, a hyper panic attack. Like it's almost like a hyper version of a panic attack. Um, and so once like the initial feeling of dread passed and the nausea remained, I got to the bathroom. Um, sometimes like the one on Friday that I experienced, you'll have like snippets of dreams. So like I literally was like thinking of dreams that I had and I don't know why because then after everything is done, I can't remember like what I thought about. It's like, it's almost like you're reaching for it. Like you, you think you can remember it, but you can't grasp it. It's so, it's such a bizarre feeling. It's hard to explain. So it happened again today. Um, and after today's episode, I had an excruciating headache. Um, and I just felt tired again, even though I had just woken up. 
And so I immediately got up and I took a uh, two Advil and I took a Xanax because I'm obviously prescribed that for my anxiety. Um, and it leaves you like out of breath and just like confused and nauseous and anxious and like just this dread feeling like this like it's, oh, it's so hard to explain. I know it sounds dumb, but oh, does it suck you guys. It like completely drains you. It's like just a mental seize up of like all of your feelings. It's like so many emotions running through your head suddenly and there's nothing you can do to stop it other than just kind of ride the wave. Um, so yeah, that happened this morning. I don't even know if it's like something I should even make a doctor appointment on because I've done a lot of research online about it. And unfortunately, like it seems like people will go and spend an exorbitant amount of money at like doctor appointments and they go to neurologists and they get these scans and they don't find anything wrong. And so it's not something you can really be medicated for. It's something that you have to just kind of like try to manage like with stress. So I have to do something. Um, I think I'm really going to push myself to start going to the gym or maybe meditating or maybe just doing yoga, something that's going to relax me because Oh, there's nothing I can do save from spending money at the doctor and unfortunately it's not gonna you know nothing's really gonna come from that because I've done all the research that I can online um, and I'm already medicated with Xanax for my anxiety so really <laughs> it's just a matter of managing my stress so it sucks if you guys want to know um, more about it because I can't remember the specific name right now like I said um, but you can actually literally Google what I Googled. When this first started happening a couple months ago, um, I didn't know what to search for, so all I did was type my symptoms in. Overwhelming feeling of dread, panic attack, deja vu feeling. And like so many things came up. And it kind of was comforting to know that like this is not just me experiencing this, like other people experience it. But it is like a scary feeling, you guys. And like the nausea and just all like all of it combined is just so horrible oh I hate it so much so thank goodness Ian was here this morning I think that helped um but when it happened the other day when I was in the shower that was just like uber stressful what do you guys think of the green looks cool right I just put it on like the bottom part I thought it would look kind of fun I'm testing out all of these like new wash in wash out colors while my hair is blonde so I figured it would be kind of fun to do especially because it's right on the bottom you know again I don't know how well you can see me but I figured as long as you can kind of see me and hear what I'm doing it's fine um, so anyway yesterday I didn't film because Ian and I had a lot on our plate so before um, we found out that that storm was gonna hit we originally had planned well the plan was originally to go on Monday which we are now going on Monday but we were both off yesterday, so we were like, why don't we just go look at the apartments that we wanted to look at? Well, it was raining, and something that you guys may not know, when it is raining and you go apartment hunting, they will not take you to an apartment um, to show you it when it's raining, so all they'll do is let you come into like the front office and they'll give you information, but you can't actually go see the apartment. Um, so we decided, since we weren't going to be able to see the apartment, that we would just go to the... Um, we went to the... Sorry, like I'm still, I, this happens too after like those weird like seizure things. Like I get like sidetracked and like, con it's just, ugh. I'll be kind of like weird all day, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, we went to the uh, music store, the Sam Ash music store. Um, and Ian got a new guitar amp um, that he's been wanting. Um, and then from there we went to a rock store, like a gym store. And so then we came home and we ended up, hanging out at home for a little while and then when we found out that it was upgraded to a tropical depression I was like well let's go out and get food now before it gets too bad for us to be out which it never really got that bad by the way um it's windier today than it was yesterday so we went to this like restaurant that we both really really like had dinner and then from there I was a little bit intoxicated Ian was fine and I made a joke like oh we should go to the ring store because you know, Ian and I have been dating five years, and obviously I don't think that we're getting engaged anytime soon, but, like, we talk about, like, marriage and stuff sometimes. And I have personally never set foot, foot in a ring store. Like, ever. I've never been to a jewelry store like that. I just, I, 
I've never gone to try on rings. I never really even thought about what type of ring I would really like. Um, I used to really be into like the tension rings online and then I did more research on those and they're not like, they're not like feasible. Um, so I had never been and so I was like, we should go because it might be kind of cool to just go see. And so he called my bluff and pulled up at a jewelry store and um, I ended up getting like embarrassed and so I went back to the car and we didn't go and we went to the grocery store. And then after the grocery store, Ian took me back there and he's like, let's just go in. Like, let's just look because he's always like joked around and said like, well, what type of ring do you want? And I've always been like, oh, I want like, you know, like, I don't know, two carrots is fine. Cause I don't know. Um, I don't know how much things cost. So we went to the ring store and I found out how much things cost and holy moly guacamole are rings really expensive. Like. I saw like a diamond. First of all, I didn't know that diamonds are like separate and then you have to put them into a ring. I did not know that. I thought you just go in and the ring is ready and you buy it. So that's something that I learned, uh, which was weird. Like I said, I've never gone. So like this is not something I've ever known. I've never been the type of girl to like go to a ring store just to look, you know? Um, yeah, so the rings are separate from the diamonds, so you have to buy the diamond and then you buy the ring. Well, the diamond that I looked at that I was like, oh, that one's cool. It was a $27,000 diamond. Like, what? I didn't realize that they were so much money. So I'm sure that I annoyed the salesman because you could tell that he was trying to get us to buy something even though we were just there to look. And like every time he'd be like, oh, this one is 14,000, this one is 27,000. I would be like, get the f out of here. <laughs> like, I was like, just, I was like, stop. I, yeah, I can't even look at what you're showing me right now. Like, this is crazy. Um, so he probably thought that I was just this like immature person, but like, I made a joke to Ian, like, in front of the guy. I'm like, we are just never, ever, ever gonna get engaged. We're never gonna get married. This is insane. And so the salesman goes, well, you know, you could always get, like, a white sapphire or, like, cubic zirconium. And I'm like, you're weird. So, um, yeah, it was uncomfortable. It was my first time going to a ring store. And it really opened my eyes because I did not know how much things cost. So that was crazy. Um, and then from the ring store, we just came home. But yeah, that was nuts. I've never gone to one. It like felt weird. And it's just like, it made me realize that like stuff like that, like marriage and like rings and it makes me uncomfortable. Like, I don't like that it makes me uncomfortable in front of Ian, but it does. I don't know why. I think it's because we joke about it so much that like, it just didn't, like it felt like too real to like go to a ring store. And like I said, we are in no means getting engaged. We can't afford to get married there's a dog outside that's just not something feasible so it's not happening but like i just it was interesting to go like for my first time to like a ring store and like truly see how much things cost and just be blown away because i feel like i've been living in a bubble where i thought that rings were like four or five thousand dollars whereas it's actually like thirty thousand dollars which is nuts i don't understand it that whole industry is a joke um also I don't know if you guys have ever seen Adam Ruins Everything, but there's an episode of Adam Ruins Everything where he, like, explains that, like, diamonds truly have no worth and they're just, like, hyped up from, like, the industry, which is crazy. So, like, the whole time I was in the store, I was just thinking about the Adam Ruins Everything episode. And I'm like, why, why, are, are, why are people the way they are? Like, why are we the way they are? Anyway, it's weird. I don't know. Very bizarre. But I did see, like, a really pretty opal necklace that I liked. And Ian was like, oh, I'll buy that for you. Because I was like, oh, it's probably like, you know, 80, 90 bucks. And Ian was like, oh, I'll buy you that necklace. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, like, that'd be cute. And then, like, the guy pulls it out of the case and goes, oh, it's $230. And I'm like, put it back. Um, I'm not buying a $230 necklace. Are you crazy? And so then the guy comes back with, like, a bunch of other opal things that they have. Like, he was like, what about this Pandora charm that you can put on a necklace? And I'm like, bro, stop. Like, I'm... I'm just looking, like, believe me, I'm not trying to buy anything over $200. And he's like, oh, well, this one's $150. And I'm like, you can get away from me. Um, so, so what I learned from this experience is that I am not the type of girl to take things like that seriously. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. Like, adult things, like things that other people are probably like, oh, I want this. Like, for me, it makes me feel weird. Um, I think it's because I still feel like I am a 12-year-old. So that's fine. Um, that was my day yesterday. Um, and then today, 
Um, it's, what time is it? It's two o'clock already, which is crazy. I didn't even realize it was two, but that makes sense because Ian went to work not too long ago. Um, so I have plans to film a couple videos, um, and I don't really have plans to leave the house. I have some Etsy orders to fill. Super fun day ahead of me, I guess. <laughs> So I just put up three more pre-orders. Now I have four pre-orders in my Etsy shop for four brand new pins coming. I finished ordering the final one, so I had ordered three of the four pre-orders. So I have four new pins launching um, between November and December. Um, and so all of those are ordered. So if you guys are interested in pre-ordering the pins before they get here, you get a special bonus gift if you do it as a pre-order. So I'll leave the link down below. Um, now, I went to her cage like a good girl. Um, I am gonna run to Target, and Luna is so good, already ready. Luna, you're just a very amazing puppy. What happened? What did I do to have such a great, amazing puppy, huh? What did I do? So I'm gonna run to Target with Christine, um, and then come back and keep working on Etsy orders.